These women are involved in Mali's effort to meet the country's energy needs while protecting the environment. They've left their old job of cutting down forests and started their own community plant nurseries instead. Now, the forest is regrowing and our work does not take as much effort as chopping down trees. Fantasize and other women in Mali's forest regions are receiving financial and technical assistance to start the plant farms through a government energy project backed by the World Bank. The renewable energy component of the project has placed about 874,000 hectares under management of community groups like the Women's in order to contribute to a sustainable supply of wood fuel predominantly used for cooking and heating. Most of the women are leaving the exploit of forest wood for the nursery, which is producing trees and vegetables, and they make more with less effort and the forests are preserved. In addition to preserving the forests, the project's renewable energy programs are making life safer for tens of thousands of women and children around the country. Cooking fumes are a major health problem for 1.6 million women and children around the world who get sick or die from them annually. This corresponds to 38,100 women and children in Mali per year. The project is supporting increased production of improved cooking stoves, which prevent the toxic carbon monoxide fumes of traditional cooking and heating methods. Mali's renewable energy programs are also promoting solar energy, with the recent building of this solar power station in Kimparana, the first one of its type and scale in West Africa. The solar station and additional solar panels around the country now provide nearly 9,000 households, community institutions and businesses with light. 43-year-old welder Sina Bagayago lives in Kimparana. It's made it possible to work here. We used to have to go to another town. The solar power station, he says, is providing the energy he needs to operate his business closer to home.